review. It's the 2021 Cadillac XT6. Available trim levels are the luxury, the premium luxury, and the sport. And I had a chance to drive the premium luxury all-wheel drive. What size is it? The government calls this a small SUV. It is. Really? It's really. Can I get a little mic here? No. There's no microphone. You, you, you've been cut off. Can I, can I get a little mic here? I would not call that a small SUV. Nor would I. But that's what the government puts it as. Wow. Small SUV. Of course, they look at the interior space. Okay. That's how, they, that's how they come up with these classes, which is ridiculous because this looks like something that a, well, the XT6, a grade schooler would come up with. Yeah, the X-T6 is basically on the same chassis as the uh, GMC Acadia. Uh, all new for 2020, so it's a seven-passenger crossover. Exterior features, sharp, edgy. Cadillac front fascia, mm -hmm. as you can see there. Uh, distinctive rear lighting with a sunshade over the back glass. Uh, just the right amount of chrome trim, as far as I can tell. Uh, Built-in dual exhaust tips, nice wheels. This is a really good-looking car. Uh, what I liked about it, the overall appearance gets two thumbs up from yours truly. What could use improvement? Nothing. I think it's uh, distinctive. It's got the Cadillac look. And even though that it does share the same platform as the Pontiac, the Oldsmobile, and the Chevrolet. Well, I, I think Pontiac and Oldsmobile don't exist anymore. Exactly. Oh. So I think it is the Chevrolet. What is the Chevy? Um, Traverse. Traverse and the GMC Acadia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was. And the Buick. Uh, I was pulling your leg. Okay. In the Buick Enclave. Interior highlights, attractive, well-laid-out dash, well-vetted infotainment system, easy to use, uh, handy passive phone charger under the center console. You like that. I, I love that. Uh, right under the center console, it's got this thing that you slide your phone in kind of at a 45-degree angle so it doesn't take up all that space. And it's kind of out of the way except for the very top, uh, I don't know, quarter of an inch inch or so. Hmm. And what difference does it make? Because you're going to Bluetooth it into the vehicle anyhow, exactly. so you don't have to touch your phone. Um, quality materials throughout the cabin. Uh, cargo trunk room, well, uh, small storage space with the third row up. Mm -hmm. Put the third row down, and you've got plenty. Uh, what I liked about it, the overall interior design is definitely an A+. Plus. Engine on this one is a 3.6 liter V6. Puts out 310 horsepower, 271 pound-feet of torque. New for this year is an optional uh, 287 horsepower four-cylinder. This gets a nine-speed automatic transmission with a tow rating of up to 4,000 pounds. Uh, as far as mileage is concerned, eh, City 18, Highway 25 for combined to 21, which is typical for this V6 engine. I got 22.2 wow. miles per gallon over 255.2 miles. Um, what I liked about it, it was well matched to the nine-speed automatic transmission. What uh, I liked about the ride and handling, smooth Cadillac style, baby. Did you say you were riding in luxury. I was. Yeah, I, re I really did like it. Base trim price, uh, 54 Seven ninety five prices tested with seventy thousand four hundred sixty five dollars. Uh, base model price forty seven thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars for the Cadillac XT six premium luxury all wheel drive. Now its competitors, the Acura MDX for forty four five. That's where it starts. Audi Q seven starts at fifty nine seven seventy, and the Lincoln Avator Aviator. Aviator. But it's spelled Aviator. Aviator. Yeah. Aviator. Aviator. $51,100. Um, well, uh, Jeffrey I, liked it, too. I think I heard him talk about it. You know, I, had, I happened to have, uh, right after this, the Chevy Traverse. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between the Cadillac oh. and the Chevy. Oh, yeah. Just the, the interior trim being different. And people, you know, we talk about a shared chassis between Chevy Buick and, and GMC. Yeah, the metal is the same, but boy, the suspension tuning yes. and all of that other stuff is vastly different between the brands, and they've always done that. Yeah, well, uh, I, I'll, to, go, they make that distinction. I can go back to uh, an event I went to that was put on by Lexus, and I asked the Lexus guy. I said, "So, what's the difference between this Lexus and the Toyota?" He says, "Oh, I bet you he twitched, <laughs> <laughs> he twitched when you asked him that." It's, it, it's a legitimate question it's because very legitimate. Sure. because it's the same chassis. Yeah. It's this, but it's quite different. And he explained to me that the Lexus gets more chassis weld points 
than the Toyota does. It goes down a different assembly line, even though you would think it wouldn't, but it does have its own assembly line. Oh, I didn't realize that. And, I didn't either. Yeah. And so, at least this one that I, that I was questioning him about and asked me what it was specifically good, it was. It was a good answer anyway. It was a good answer, whether he was lying to me or not. I can't imagine that he would do that. And I would imagine that the Cadillac XT6 is similar in, in nature. Yeah, but they don't they don't go down a different assembly line. They, The Buicks, the Chevrolets, the Cadillacs, the GMCs are all rolling But it sure does feel line. different driving. They, they make, they try and they do a very good job of making huge differences between the ride quality. We have a cruise in calendar, and I'm going to start it off by tomorrow morning out at the uh, Prince's Hamburgers out at Sharpstown uh, Golf Course. 6600, 6600 Harbor Town Drive. Yeah, uh, it's in the Sharpstown area. Uh, it is a uh, cruise in, any cars, any makes, any models, 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow, right there at the Prince's Hamburger. Don will be there signing autographs. He'll be driving the red Charger Hellcat. It's orange, red eye. actually. Is it orange? It's yeah, orange. it's orange. It was dark when I drove in. You've had this thing about orange vehicles. You had an orange one last week. Mustang. The Mustang. Uh, so, anyhow. Um, so, yeah, uh, chrome and coffee tomorrow at Prince's Hamburger. Uh, also, the Woodlands car, uh, Cars and Coffee for a Cause is at 6.30 in the morning. At 8 o'clock in the morning is the 409 Car Cruise at in Port Arthur, Texas, over in uh, over in Mars. I know Mars will be there. Not. Not. Uh, 8 a.m. in the morning, uh, <laughs> cars, coffee, and donuts in Navasota. You notice they all have to have their own derivative of coffee and cars. Absolutely. Uh, and then at 11 a.m. is uh, the Houston Lowriders lunch, New Year's lunch at uh, um, the McGregor Park. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, the In Wheel Time Car Show streams on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com, along with Twitch. Podcasts available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, iHeart Podcasts, TuneIn, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Amazon, and Podcast Addict. In Wheel Time Car Show continues right after this quick break. Texas. 